The moon is insane. Like, there's a rock up there. I've got great news for you. There's more rocks. But I don't know if you knew this. There's so much special on that moon. And he's zooming really closely. Yes. Why did you leave this in the tags? So you could screenshot it and add it to the post as a reblog, my friend. You're welcome. Joy Young, how do I learn as much things as you have? Learn three things and you're set. You know what? It's fair you don't think birds are real. We think you humans are government drones. I mean, look how you run politics. <laughs> is he flirting or is he just looking in my general direction? <laughs> I can't tell. The orcs and the elves team up together after years of warm bloodshed to make fun of your stupid shirt. Stupid, ugly shirt. It's a Homestuck shirt. The orcs and elves may finally find peace. Damn. Listen, okay? J just hear me out. Giant volcano monster. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm not finished. Listen. Giant volcano monster with eight eyes and six arms. You you're still not convinced? Don't convince? All right. All right. Giant naked volcano monster lady with flowing lava hair and a giant flaming sword. Have I got you convinced now? I good. Stinkoscope. Why, hello, OP. I happen to be searching the tag of my name across our Tumblr and came across this old post which happened to exist before my own account, which is quite incredible. I made you. <sighs> There's going to be a scene in the Super Mario Brothers movie where the toads are in one place and they're all like, Hey, Toad! What's up, Toad? Looking great, Toad! Thanks, Toad! Oh, Toad! They are all named Toad. By greed, would you rather have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I know it's an outdated practice, but I believe on a genuine level that electroshock therapy could fix me. That, that, that was supposed to be original post. I didn't mean to respond to that ask with that. I clicked on the wrong tab. I'm sorry. Strive this, betterment that. We all know the universal drive of humanity. Spite. Um, it's not an abandoned work in progress. I didn't intentionally leave it in the forest to die and forget about it. It is a lost whip who wandered into the forest despite my pleas not to. I sit at the edge of the forest every day and hear it calling for help, but there is nothing I can do. It is a haunting whip. Whip that died and came back wrong. It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Pouring river water in your socks. Well, why would I do that? It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Thank you, official United States Tumblr. When you hold your favorite rock. Hey, do you all know that otters hold their special rock under their armpits when not in use? And when in use, they're used to open shells for food? Their rock is so important to them that it's passed on from generation to generation. That really is his favorite rock. I hope you all find someone that loves you as much as that otter loves his rock. Hello? I'm looking for a little idiot to kill. I don't think killing your followers makes for good publicity. Clearly you don't know what people want, shorty. People with Ralse icons are just like so inherently trustworthy. They're so sweet and nice and magical, just like him, and I want to be their friends. What's your credit card number? Hey, staff. Staff, let us buy someone else a verification. Let me inflict that on a person. Please. Not breaking. Poor girl has to get out of the soft, warm bed, even though she is so, 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 so comfy. What a horrible way to stop thing. My pet lit match and my pet puddle of gas did not get along. They're just playing. Don't worry about it. My soul is dark because my body doesn't have lights in it. If you used a flashlight, it would show that my soul is a bowl of freshwater shrimp. You mean to tell me these shrimp run that body? Anyone else ever daydream for six hours straight and then after you're just like, nah, let's scrap that and do it all again, but like slightly to the left. My brain. <laughs> Was that good? Me in a beret, taking a long draft from a cigarette and leaning back in my director's chair. Hmm, once again, from the top, this time with feeling. <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm not a boy. I'm like a PlayStation 2. Ugh, outdated, get the four. Hey! How dare you say that to a very proud PlayStation 2? You shut your mouth. Do you ever get a song you hate stuck in your head and you try to think of a better song, but the two mash together to create something horrible? Make it stop. I took some ibuprofen yesterday. Today I woke up at 1 p.m. And later, I mean pizza. I consider that self-care. Have you drank any water yet today? I want a lawyer. Hey, bro, can you pass me your agenda for a second? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything to it. I just want to I, I look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. Hey. Hey. 
It's okay to like bad characters. Not like morally bad, but actually badly written. They might scratch an itch you can't get anywhere else. So like them. Ain't no one gonna tell you you can't. This ain't 1984 yet. I'm pretty... I feel like I could give a couple of answers of series that could scratch this itch, but I don't want to awaken those phantoms. Just kidding. Yes, I do. Did you mean Riverdale? And Ruby? And the final seasons of Steven Universe? I'm just kidding, guys. Love you. I'm going through my Skyrim screenshot folder. Do you want to poison the delicious quinoa, Susan? Who names the character Susan? Um, I'm poisoning an enchanted crossbow, which I gave a nickname to so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. The name of the weapon is Delicious Quinoa, Susan. Uh, as you do. Well, get doxxed! That's not the Milky Way. Who the fuck do you have a beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? Writing prompt. You're an ancient Greek man coming home from four months of war to find your wife three months pregnant. Now you've embarked on a solemn quest to punch Zeus in the face. Soon after you begin your quest, you encounter another man in a similar situation. You decide to join forces, as two mortal men stand a better chance at punching Zeus than one. Two villages over, you encounter a woman who had relations with Zeus and was left with a highly aggressive half-boar, half-man offspring. She too feels your anger and offers to join your quest. By the time you reach Mount Olympus, you've amassed a formidable army of cuckolded, ravished mortals, demigods with daddy issues, mythical creatures with scores to settle, and a seamstress who you're pretty sure is Hera in disguise. Zeus never stood a chance. I want to fucking read this book. Where it? Somebody write this! I'm not mentally ill. I just have an unparalleled commitment to the bit. God. Did you know? Hyperion studies show that most cases of what some people perceive as environmental destruction and pollution is really an external projection of their own anxiety and ability to accept change in their surroundings. Okay, Hyperion, let's get you to bed. Spoken like a shoe for the mattress industry. Hammocks are better, though? Hammocks are but a gateway mattress. Sheep! Hey, what's the Tumblr equivalent of Hey Siri? Science side of Tumblr. Hey, science side of Tumblr, explain. Science side of Tumblr here. I'm in your phone. Uh, I don't like that answer. Try again. What, what are my pronouns? They're mine! You can't have them! <laughs> hey, Andy? Oh, that's right. He's on vacation. Well, it's just you and me, guys. When people give me compliments, I feel like a vending machine trying to accept a wrinkly dollar, and it's just really frustrating for everyone involved. I've never related to anything more in my life. Yeah, you didn't put a name tag on your boyfriend and he despawned. <sighs> Sorry. I'm starting to think that maybe you guys don't know what a boyfriend is. This time of the year makes me feel cold. Ugh, humans in winter. Wh what are you? What are you? Dear heavily tattooed people, if I'm staring at you, it's not because I'm judging you. I'm just trying to check out your ink. It's good stuff. We all laugh at Guy Fieri, Smash Mouth, and the Shrek movie series, but we all also collectively agree that their existence makes the world a better place. The king laughs the jester, but values his wit and honesty. Because you know, somebody once told me, the world is going to roll me, and I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Heather's is the epitome of only in Ohio. You don't really need drugs to have a good time at Home Depot. Every time I go to Home Depot, I feel intoxicated from the pure energy within it. Infant experiencing the lighting aisle for the first time. Or adult experiencing the lighting aisle for the millionth time. Why do we keep using the same human names over and over? I want to meet a guy named The Wheelbarrow. Or Impact Wrench. I think I'd be friends with someone named Impact Wrench. Why shouldn't I embrace the madness? Who's going to stop me? Me? Not today, bitch! In the back of the club, arms folded because I don't agree with the music selection. This is how DJs are born. It's not, he's never done a thing wrong in his life. It's, he's done a thousand things wrong and I just don't care. Look at him. Wanted posters are just cowboy call-out posts. And I ain't got time for twit longer. Sometimes people are stupid. Sometimes they don't know what's true or what's good for them. You won't know if those people are misinformed or just stubborn. And only one way to find out. If you open a soda and it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, that's bad, right? If you drink that, you'll die. Instructions unclear. Got it with Sprite and drunk half of it. What did you drink, Melon? Why? Said to the tone of someone demanding to know what's in a dog's mouth. <laughs> Why is everything blurry?
I love going viral on Tumblr.com. It's like if you stood in a field and said some of the stupidest shit a human being is capable of and then 50,000 crows attacked you. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. The Game Awards were cool, but what if instead in an award show it was a 12 hour long trilogy of films based on J.R. Tolkien's magnum opus Lord of the Rings? My friend, have I got the solution for you. No way, no fucking way! If I had PM Seymour narrate my post, I'd want him to give me a voice sounding like Markiplier, just to spite you all. Can I interest you in a new Five Nights at Fumble's fan game? Or my OnlyFans? Don't forget that sometimes you just need to rock back and forth, perhaps do a little wiggle, engage in a shimmy even, for your health. Some of us are put on this earth to draw characters standing against a blank background 5,000 times. It's not always true. Sometimes it's a triangle. Sometimes it's a square. Sometimes it's gradients. We, we jazz it up a bit. Have y'all listened to some banger music and imagine a character that's cool and then just forget about it? I hate it. Why is that pine cone drinking? To forget. Canada time! OP, what does this mean? Canada is happening. Right here. Right now. Yeah. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. Insult. <gasps> How dare. Taking my pet calorie for a brisk walk. Dear God, what have I done? A girl must see her special little character at least once a day, lest she get consumed by rage and start throwing rocks at people. God invented caffeine just so I could down an entire medium Starbucks caramel frappuccino, buzz around like a bee on steroids for 15 minutes, and then promptly get sleepy and pass out for three hours. Ah, my whole day. If she's your girl, why is she using my crafting table, hmm? I'm not saying she's a slut. I'm just saying her spawn point isn't set to her own bed very often, hmm? I pity the future historians that are gonna try to take a crack at this one. The fact that almost none of our future tech is orb-shaped is so fucked up. The fact that we're still in Square World really shows how primeval and animalistic we still are. Pucky, I hate to tell you, but some of the strongest shapes in nature are based off of triangles. So if we were to follow that route, it would be four-sided pyramids and hexagons and the like. Orbs and circles aren't space efficient. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but check this cool shit out. <laughs> Balls. And you ruined it. But what if I'm the dumbest person in the room? Can I still find a different room? Am I stuck in this room forever? Please, I want to leave! I've been here for three years! I want out! My mom's favorite pastime is to come into my room, insult all of my life choices, list everything I already know I need to do, making me ten times more stressed about it than I was before, then leave my door open. All right. Opens the can of worms. We should have different body types for main characters in Pokemon. Please and thank you. Not to be insensitive, but some of the Salem witch trials were so funny. Bitches like, I saw her at the Devil's Sacrament. Girl, what were you doing at the Devil's Sacrament, hmm? Stepping on crunchy leaves is the real-life equivalent of breaking bricks in Super Mario. Ah, wahoo. You show a cat something and they're like, Ooh, I understand now. I don't care. If an elf and a dwarf fucked, would it make a human? Well, going by older editions of D&D, they made it an awkward, ugly thing called a dwarf, which usually combined the worst aspects of both races' personalities and physical construction. Yeah, a human. The computer from Courage could fix me. Same. If I die, I want all of you at my funeral. Just confuse the fuck out of my family. Transformers is about love and loss and time and change, but fundamentally, it is about old friends and ancient grievances. It's also about cool robot turn into car! Yeah, baby! Your girlfriend told me that she thinks my takes are way more nuanced than yours. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks you can't get past surface level interpretations, and she's leaving you for my analysis. Sorry. Not writing. Not not writing. But a secret third thing. Letting my story spin around my head like a microwave. What time is it, you ask? I pull out my 2.7 metric ton granite sundial and immediately crush both of your feet, and I loudly announce... It is cloudy. Me begging on my knees, sobbing, voice raw, whispering quietly. Please, dear God, let me enjoy something in moderation. My brain obsessed, 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 obsessed. I'm going to say Candyman five times while my homie says Beetlejuice three times. Are we going to make him fight? Okay, maybe there is still some funny people on Twitter. And here comes Bloody Mary with...
the steel chair. So I would love to be a werewolf, but my main worry is if it would affect my digestive system. Like, I love eating stuff like grapes and chocolate, but I'm not sure if my wolf form could handle it without keeling over and dying. Guys, that's a new writing prompt. The new weaknesses for werewolves. Trans women names are like 22nd century cyberpunk hacker jewel thieves. And trans man names are like drowned Victorian children. Exactly as it should be. If I may add, NB names are often just like nouns. I had a classmate once named Brick, and that is the single most powerful name I've ever heard. One time I dreamt someone sold my OC as an NFT, ew, against my will, and we fought over it in a Zoom meeting. I want to travel back in time and try to explain this sentence to myself in the 1990s. I don't think anyone even spoke English back then. Yeah, as a 90s kid, I can confirm we didn't speak English at all. Nope, no sorry, nope. I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was just a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, You're bleeding because you don't floss. And he went dead silent. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Once I said busted nut in front of my 11-year-old sister, and I didn't want to get in trouble for it when my dad asked what that meant. So I said it meant being mad at something. And my dad has meetings regularly with four-star admirals. And I really didn't think he'd remember this, but he dropped his shit and he said he was going to bust a nut and explain to him what I told him it meant. And now apparently <laughs> they like the phrase. Ellie, you're going to cause a goddamn international crisis. You know, a lot of scantily clad women with numbers in their URLs are following me lately. They must be smitten with my devilish charm. Minimalism is cool, but have you ever had all the things you love in your room? Not since she left. Oh! Oh, dude! Someone give T-Boot some love! Jesus! Masked individual with they-slash-them pronouns. Call that an... A non-binary. <laughs> Working in an office is just like being in a horse movie, except the horse is a printer. I'm the only one in the office who can make it work, and it's because the printer and I have a special bond. It's a wild and untamable spirit, and we're going to win the big race. I can't believe horse girls are secretly working in offices now. Spotify wrapped, but it's your bank showing you your 100 worst purchases of the year. My Keanu Reeves Jesus bath mat is the top of the list. I humbly request a visual. Bank says worst purchase, but my heart says best. I love it and I want one. Friendly reminder to assume that all my OCs are bisexual unless explicitly stated otherwise. It's buy or die in this house.